Hi, camera. As always, bottle. Last night, I wrote a short storybook at around 1 a.m. I wasn't being creative. I just realized that there was a project I had to turn in the next day. I thought I'd read that project to you. Trent the Triangle by Eric L. LaRosi. This is Trent. He is a triangle. We know he is a triangle because he has three sides and three angles. Also, Trent is not male. Being a simple shape, the he is merely grammatical. Trent's whole existence can basically be summed up by drawing three points which are not collinear. Notice how Trent has no face. Trent is a right triangle. We know this for a number of reasons. Firstly, he is drawn on graph paper, his sides following pre-made perpendicular lines. Trent has no free will, as Trent is a shape. We can also determine Trent's being a right triangle with the information above, being able to either use the Pythagorean theorem to check, or looking to see if one of the angles is 90 degrees. Since Trent can be reproduced as above infinite times, each of Trent's incarnations is worthless. Trent cannot feel or experience, but can interact with other polygons. Look above. Trent forms a parallelogram by being placed against another worthless incarnation. This can be done by placing congruent sides of two congruent triangles together. Unless you forget to place non-congruent angles together. Then you might get an isosceles triangle. That's okay. We all make mistakes. Except Trent. Trent can't do anything. Fine. Trent can be relatable. Now aware of all of mathematics, including his own being a Pythagorean triple expressed as a triangle. This will most likely go to his head. Self-aware Trent is actually a real jerk. Oh well. That's what I get for humanizing shapes. I have to go now. Trent is staring at me. The end. So, yeah, that's why I should not be allowed to write books at one in the morning when I'm frustrated. I really don't know why my classmates found that funny. Whatever. All I've taken away from this day is that Angry Eric is apparently funnier than trying to be funny Eric. Maybe I should read more news.